Welcome, my friends, to another edition of Coffee on Guitars. Here's to ya. Mm. So uh, today, um, we're talking about overdrives and getting some grit and some dirt. And I'm, I'm really big, by the way, on you guys getting to know your gear um, and getting to know how it works, spending the hours, the months, getting to know how some of this stuff works um, and getting away from depending on someone else to give you presets because it won't work. It doesn't work for you. So what you need to do is get to know how stuff actually works. And this is important because this is stuff we we forgot about as kids. Just, you know, learning how stuff works and you didn't depend always on someone giving you the answer. You just had fun digging in. And this is what we need to do as guitar players, even if we're not professionals. Just have some fun with this. So let's talk about the overdrive distortion. Uh, I'm not using anything fancy. I'm using um, a Boss uh, BD2. It is a Keeley modded one, so it has this little fat switch mod, but that doesn't really matter. Any really overdrive pedal, this will work. And as far as I know, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm using single coils. So let's talk about this. I've got the Boss BD2 driver on, and here's how I have it set up. Uh, you know, my maximum volume. <laughs> Way too much, uh... So it's not like a heavy metal tone, and I had too much echo there, I just did it. It's not a heavy metal tone, but it's a good crunch, okay? So, I'm gonna leave it there. That's what I like. If I need to dig in, I can get that little bit of sustain, a little bit of dirt. So, with that pedal, just that one pedal, um, I've got a whole range of sounds, right? It depends on how I play. It depends on how I set this up just right with the amp. I'm not gonna show you my BD2 settings because it doesn't matter, and I'm gonna drill this into your head a million times. My settings don't matter. It doesn't matter where my knobs are set because it won't apply to you. You are not using the same amp, you're not using the same guitar, you're not using these pickups in com combination with this and that amp in my cabinet, in my room. So my settings won't matter. You won't get this sound. It's up to you to find the settings. Here's what I can tell you. Um, I have the, uh, I do have some gain, obviously, set up on the BD2, so I have crunch, because I do want crunch, and the amp is set clean, actually, without the pedal. Um, So that's the amp, it's clean. If you wanna argue about there's dirt, not really. It's, for the most part, it's clean. Okay, and then with the BD2. So you can hear there's dirt on there, but you have to set it up to get that dirt for your amp and you have to set up your volume levels. You gotta set that all up. So now you've got a little bit of dirt on it. Depends on your pedal, right? I'm going to, um, no volume. I'm gonna turn up the volume a little bit and play. Maybe a little bit more volume. There we go. So, you know, it's a clean sound, right? And I'm not picking very hard, right? So um, you get this clean sound. Maybe it's great for chords. Let's see. Oh, in a D minor. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's not sparkling clean. Okay. So I'm not gonna change the volume, but let me dig in. What happens if I start to dig in with my pick? Okay, so now by digging a little bit more with pick, just by adjusting my technique, I have just the teeniest dash of dirt. And this is an old, you know, Larry Carlton trick. A lot of great players, they set their amps up or a pedal in such a way to have them be able to do pretty clean stuff. So that when they dig in, they can get a little bit of dirt. And if they lay off the pick a little bit, it gets a little bit cleaner. So this is with the Boss BD2 Blues Driver. 
you know, it, because I have my volume set low. So I get a very... I get this little, nice little clean sound, right? So uh, let me turn the volume up. There's Max, I'm gonna back it off. So I've got my volume up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna dig in. I'm gonna play pretty softly. Volume's turned up, so I will be louder, but I'm still gonna pick very lightly. Let's see what happens. I've got a little low uh, echo. too much echo but nevertheless it's not really that dirty if I pick a little let me pick really get in there okay now I've got a dirty sound right so um, what this tells you is getting to know your gear, in this case, not only your pedal, it's your amp, and it's your guitar. Getting it set up in such a way that um, you can have a lot of different sounds. So as you can tell, I just had a, uh, a lot of different tones going on with one pedal. All it was was adjusting my um, volume knob. And there's some, there's a little bit that I could do here with the tone knobs too, and the pickups on a Strat. But regardless, this really works especially well with single coils. So I really implore you guys to have single coils to try this out. Work a little bit with your volume knob. And for you real techno geeks out there that you're gonna try and call me on this, you're gonna say, hey, that only works with the treble bleed mod. And you are absolutely right. I do have a treble bleed mod in here. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link in here so you can look up what is a treble bleed mod. Uh, but if not, you type that into Google, Tr treble bleed mod. You do need that to really work this the way you'd want. But the point is, knowing how to set up a simple pedal like a BD2, only three knobs, that's it. You've got something for tone, you've got something for the output level, and you've got something for gain. Um, knowing how to set that up with your amp. Um, a really good way is just setting your amp up to be clean and um, with not the volume cranked all the way up. Set it so it's clean and you got plenty, so you'll have plenty of headroom. So when you dig in, you can, you know, you'll be able to get this sound. So, uh, you know, I'll uh, leave you guys off with digging in. Adjusting the volume knob. All sorts of expressive playing. All right, you guys. This has been Coffees and uh, Coffee and Guitars. Hey, get to know your gear. Fail. Do it again, fail, get better, learn something. I promise you it will pay off rather than me giving you full settings and presets. It's not going to work. Here's to you guys.